In this tutorial, we will learn how to generate certificates using sample scripts installed with CAXCOM Data Transport in order to do transfers over SSL. Let us set up XCOM to do transfers over SSL. To begin with, all the machines communicating over SSL must have the same root certificates. Then each machine needs to generate its client and server certificate based on the purpose it needs to fulfill. Root certificate can be a self-signed certificate or a certificate provided by a certification authority. In this video, we will be using self-signed certificates created using the sample scripts installed with XCOM. Let us first generate the root certificates on a Windows machine which is having XCOM Service Pack 1. To check the XCOM version, let us navigate to XCOM Home. Let us issue the command XCOM QM-R to check the version of XCOM. We are having XCOM Service Pack 1 installed on this system. Let us navigate to XCOM Home SSL directory. In this directory, we have the scripts which generate the certificates and the configuration files used by these certificates. We have make CA, make server, and make client. These are the sample scripts which generate the certificates. CASSL.conf, serverSSL.conf, and clientSSL.conf are the configuration files used by these scripts to generate the certificates. Let us take a look at the contents of cssl.conf configuration file. This file is used by make CA script to generate the root certificates. In this file, we specify the details like the number of days for which the certificate is valid. The default is 365 days. And the details of the company which is going to use the certificate. Let us run the make CA script with the default configuration file to generate the root certificates. A few files and two directories are created. The directories are search and private. The root certificate is a combination of the files inside search and private directory. In search we have cssl.pam and in private we have cssl.key.pam. These two files together form the root certificate. Let us run make CA script on a Linux machine to generate the root certificate. We will replace the root certificate generated here with the root certificate generated on the Windows machine. Let us check the Linux release. We have Reddit Linux release 6.7. Let us check the XCOM version. We have XCOM 11.6 service pack 1 installed on this machine. Let us navigate to the XCOM home slash SSL directory. We see that we have the similar files here as well just like Windows. We need to run make CA to generate the root certificate. Let us run make CA. We see that we have similar files generated after running the make CA as we have seen in Windows. The root certificate is a combination of files in certs and private directory. Inside certs we have cassl.pem and in private we will have cassl.key.pem. We need to replace these two files with the root certificate files generated on the Windows machine. Let us replace the root certificate. We are back to the Windows machine. Let us issue XCOM transfer to replace the root certificate files on the Linux system with the root certificate files on this system. Let us transfer casslk.pem and replace it on the Linux system. The transfer is successful and the file has been successfully replaced. Let us now replace cassl.pem on the Linux system.
the transfer is successful and the file has been replaced on the Linux system. Please note that all the machines communicating over SSL need to have the same root certificate. Now we need to generate the client and the server certificate. If a machine has to act as a client, that is XCOM machine which initiates the transfer, it needs to have the client certificate and the XCOM machine which is the remote partner, it needs to have the server certificate. In case the machine acts as both client as well as server, it needs to have both the client as well as server certificates. Let us first create the client and server certificates on the Windows machine. Let us go back to XCOM home SSL directory. Let us run make server script to generate the server certificate. Let us now run the make client script to generate the client certificates. In XCOM home slash SSL directory, we have three more scripts, namely listca, list server, and list client. These scripts can be used to verify the certificates. Let us use these scripts to verify the certificates. Let us first run list ca. In this, we can check the details of the root certificate. Let us now verify the client certificate. Similarly, let us check server certificate. We have verified the root, client and server certificates on this machine. Let us do the similar activity on the Linux machine. Let us run make client script to generate the client certificate. Now run make server script to generate the server certificates. Let us list and verify the certificates. First, the root certificate. Now, we verify the client certificate. And finally, the server certificate. Now these two machines are ready to communicate or transfer files over SSL. In a similar fashion, we can configure as many machines as we want to. In this video, we have learned the procedure to generate and verify the certificates used to do transfers over SSL. Thank you for watching this video.